Thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the proper procedure for identifying or changing flow rates on circuit sentry valves. First, we'll begin our procedure by isolating and draining the circuit sentry valve completely by opening the union nut just enough to drain the water. Once the valve is open to atmosphere and it's a safe handling temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or less, we will want to begin the cartridge removal process. We'll begin by removing the cartridge chamber cap. Once we have removed the cartridge cap, we will pull the cartridge out of the body using pliers. We can determine the valve flow rate by two methods. Checking the tag on the valve for the gallons per minute value, or in this case where we have no tag present, we can check the four digit number on the top of the orifice and interpret it into a flow using the following chart which can be obtained on our website www.balancevalves.com. If it has been decided that we're going to change the flow rate of the valve, take a small flathead screwdriver or retaining ring removal tool and remove the retaining ring that holds the orifice in the cartridge. Be very careful. The retaining ring has a tendency to spring out of the valve. Try to cup your hand around the top while you are pulling it. Once the retaining ring is removed, the orifice is easily removed. You can just as easily put the new orifice in. Next, insert the retaining ring by either pressing it into place or by working one side of the retaining ring into the groove while pressing downward into the groove cavity, making sure it snaps into place or you can use a retaining ring tool to do the same procedure. We will then work the cartridge back into the valve body, making sure the cartridge O-ring snaps into place when we press it in. It has a very distinct feel to it when it fully secures in the valve body. We will then screw the cartridge cap back into the valve body. Bell & Gossett has determined the proper torque values for each of our valves. Please refer to the column that applies to your valve size to determine the proper torque. In this case, we will want to tighten the circuit sentry cartridge cap to 25 foot-pounds. We can now open our valve and bring it back into service. Thanks again for joining us, and as always, for more technical information, please visit our website at www.balancevalves.com.